from the teen department. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make flying origami. Um, it's actually really easy. All you're going to need is some paper. Um, and you don't necessarily have to have colored paper. Um, but just some paper and then some tape. Um, you might also need some scissors and a ruler. Um, the best size that I figured out that works the best and the easiest to fold is just this four by four sheet. Um, so you can just cut a few of these out. You'll actually need eight different pieces to make this. And like I said, the smaller you go with the pieces, the harder it is to fold. So we're just gonna get started. It's just gonna be your simple square and I'll take you guys over here so you can kind of get an up close view of how I'm gonna fold this. So I already have it folded in half and the best thing to do whenever you are doing origami is to always make sure that you make good creases, okay? So then you're gonna open it up and I, I have my crease through here. I'm gonna turn it and make a crease this way. Okay, so always make sure that you're folding it really good. Uh, I'm going to open it back up, and I'm going to fold four little triangles. So there's my first one. Gonna go over here to my second one, making sure that I'm getting it folded really good. Then my third one, and you're going to end up with an, another smaller square, just like that. Okay, and then as it's facing you or facing me, I want my lines to be up and down. I'm gonna take one little side piece, just like this, so if you're looking at it like that, I'm gonna take one little piece, I'm gonna fold that one in, make sure I crease it really good, and I'm gonna fold that little piece in, and now I'm gonna turn it over. So you're gonna turn it over and you'll notice there's nothing sticking up, it's just a flat piece. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I actually had, it looks like an X through here. So I'm gonna fold this little end piece up all the way to the triangle that I see from that X, okay? And then I'm gonna pick it up, it looks like this, and with the little tail side, I guess you could say, um, I'm just gonna fold it. So you're gonna have something that looks like this. I just folded it like that. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm going to um, press it and make it, it almost looks like, I don't know, could you say that looks like a little duck head or something like that? I don't know, probably not. Um, so once I get this done, I'm gonna make seven more. So you're gonna have eight of them total. And I actually found it kind of easy whenever I was doing it, if I put little pieces of tape but if you notice, um, I don't know if you guys can see on camera or not, but there's like little openings. And so these, these ends right here are going to go into the openings. And so you're just going to put those in there. If you want to put a little piece of tape, you can. Um, and you still may have to move the tape just a little bit to get that last piece in because it's going to be the tough one. Um, and you're going to get it in. And then it's going to go in this last side too. Okay, just like that, I'm gonna finish it up with some tape on both of those just to hold it in. And you have yourself some flying origami. So this is really fun, really easy to make. Like I said, everybody has paper lawn around their house. Um, you can actually take it and throw it. I'm not gonna throw it here on camera. So you'll just have to try it at home and see how much you like it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and we will see you all next time.